It's my last chance to run through titles that didn't make the cut this year, and I'm cranky. So here goes. Wes Craven's Deadly Blessing from 1982 has a very TV movie feel to it, but it also has Michael Berryman yelling that a lady is an incubus. INCUBUS! Also features an odd early role for Jonah Hill. I know how it is. Please don't do that. There's a pretty good collection of nightgowns in this one. It turns into a snake movie at one point. And Ernest Borgnine is spot on with his role. May you be damned in hell! But it's so damn dull otherwise. Oh, how I wanted to love Witchboard 2. But like Deadly Blessing, it's so slow. Amy Dolan's is no Tony Katane. Oh boy! <laughs> the premise is silly, and it takes a good 70 minutes for much of anything to happen. There is a pretty insane car stunt. and an awesome wrecking ball death. And at the very end, two characters from the original film show up, but those things aren't enough to save it. Then I watched Silent Hill, Screw that movie, and I followed it up with See No Evil. Fuck right off. Finally, there were all the movies I couldn't even finish. Movies you've most likely never heard of, like The Attic, Carver, Blood Predator, Color from the Dark, Locked in a Room, Wages of Sin, and Legacy. Although I'm hesitant to mention that last one because it looks like the director might murder not just me, but all of us. So, five stars for Legacy. Good night, everybody.